Hey everybody, today we're going to show you where to find all 50 Skidoo Tree Fragment locations here in the Elden Ring DLC. Now I highly recommend that you explore the map and unlock a lot of the sites of Grace first, as a lot of these we're going to show you the closest site of Grace to the location. But without further ado, let's jump into it. So our first two shards are going to be found together just southeast of the Scorched Ruins site of Grace down here inside of the Church of Consolation. Uh, the two shards are going to be on a statue inside of the church. They can make your way down here. Once you get over here, this is what it's going to look like. Pretty big church. Can't really miss it. And again, close to the start of the DLC. So you can get this one pretty early on. But once you make your way over here, just go inside. You'll see the giant statue. And right in front of the statue is where you're going to be able to pick up your first two Skidoo Tree fragments. Our third fragment is going to be found just northeast of the Scorched Ruins. And literally just to the east of the Scorched Ruins site of Grace. You can see where our marker is right here. This is another one that's really easy to spot when you make your way over here. There'll be a pretty big tree that leads right into this small graveyard. What you want to do is take out the enemy with the pot above his head. That's going to be the guy that is holding the fragment. And once you take him out, you can defeat the rest of the enemies over here. And then when you go to pick up the item that the guy with the pot had, you'll see that you get another Skidoo Tree fragment here. Our fourth fragment is going to be found over by the three path cross site of grace. As we zoom all the way in, you guys can see that location. This one will be really easy to spot as it's going to be right next to the cross. So if you just come over here to this fast travel, you'll see the cross is right here next to it. And the item that's beside it is our next fragment. Fragment number five is going to be found over by the main gate cross side of grace. This is another one that's going to be right next to a cross. So just make your way right over here to the main gate cross side of grace. It'll be right at the bottom of the giant staircase here. You'll see the cross again right next to the grace and the item next to that cross is going to be your next fragment. Our sixth fragment location is going to be on the southwestern side of the map, just south of the cliff road at terminus side of grace. If you don't know how to get there, you start from the main gate cross and just work your way south following this path and you'll eventually make it to the cliff road terminus. And then from there, just head southwest right to where you can see our marker. There's going to be a graveyard up on the hill down here that you'll spot pretty easily. Uh, but there's going to be another guy with a pot on his head. All we need to do is take him out before he disappears. You can see him right here in front of us. And once you take him out, you can just finish taking out the remaining enemies. And when you run up to him, the item that he dropped will include another fragment. Our seventh fragment is going to be found over by the Bellarat Tower Settlement uh, side of Grace. You can see that exact location here on your screen. We're actually going to be standing in front of it. When you make your way over here, you can see behind us the side of Grace is in that little building. All you're going to do is go out the door and go up the giant stairs and through the double doors in front of you and just follow the pathway forward. There's going to be a lift in here. We're just going to stand on that, take it to the very top. And once we're here, we're just going to follow this main pathway. Just follow the stairs up. Take a left, and then as you go straight, you're going to see this archway here in front of you. Now, what you want to do is you don't want to go inside. When you see the archway right here, what you want to do is look to the right, and there's going to be some rubble right here. You can actually jump over this and find another secret entrance back here. You'll see we can go through this little archway. If you go all the way through the back and follow the staircase up, you're going to find another cross in this back room in the corner. And right next to that cross on the ground is going to be an item. And that item is going to be another Skidoo Tree fragment. Our eighth fragment is going to be found over by the castle front site of Grace. You can see that location here on your map just across the Great Bridge. We're actually going to be starting towards the middle of this settlement. When you guys make your way across that giant bridge, uh, this is what it's going to look like. You're going to see the giant staircase in front of you. What you want to do is come over here to the right. You're going to see the headless statue here in front of the tent with the flames on either side. And right here is where you'll be able to pick up your next fragment. The ninth fragment is going to be found over by the Pillar Path Cross Site of Grace. You can see that location here on your map. Now, for some reason, you don't know how to get down here. You just work your way up across the bridge and you can just follow this pathway all the way down and take the little side path down to this site of grace. But again, this is another one that's easy to spot. Once you get down here, there'll be a cross right next to it. And right next to that cross will be your next fragment. Our 10th fragment is going to be found over by the Castle NC's Checkpoint site of Grace. You can see that location right here on your screen. But once you make your way over here again, it'll be right outside the main gate here. We'll show you what it's going to look like. But right next to that site of Grace is another cross. You're going to have two items. The first one that's right here next to the cross is a message. 
And then the item that's right over here in the corner is going to be your next Skidoo tree fragment. Fragment number 11 is going to be found by the Spiral Rise site of Grace on the far western side of the map. This is as you're getting closer towards the end game, so you might have to wait later in the game before you grab this one. You see just at the top of the giant staircase and through the double doors here, we're going to have another cross next to our side of Grace. And that item that's going to be right here on the ground next to that cross is going to be your next fragment. Our 12th fragment is really, really tricky to get to. We're going to be starting from the Spiral Rise site of Grace, so right where our last one was. Once you make it here, what you want to do is go out those double doors that we were at in the last location. You're going to have an enemy at the top of the stairs if you've just rested at the site of Grace. As soon as you take out that enemy, you want to sprint down the stairs as you're going to get attacked from behind up on that balcony. Uh, and then when you get to the bottom of the stairs, take a left and work your way down this flight of stairs. We're then going to go through these double archways, and then this is where it gets a little tricky. You want to jump down onto this staircase here, and then we're going to work our way into this gazebo. And you want to go to the back side of this gazebo, and we're going to very, very carefully drop off the back side. So you see there's a little ledge that we can land on below us. Go ahead and drop to this ledge here. And then once you're here, what we're going to do is drop down to the next ledge. And then essentially we're just going to follow this building all the way around the back. So just continue to follow this until you see a little opening. When you get right here, you can just drop down again to the lower level and then just be really careful as you're jumping and working your way around this building as it's really easy to just fall off the map and have to restart. When you make it around to the side, you're going to see another spot where we can jump down right here. We're going to take a left, work our way around the side of this structure. And there's going to be another staircase below us that we can jump down to. Now, when you jump down and turn around, you're going to have an enemy behind you. So you can take him out really quickly and just work your way to the bottom of the stairs. And now is another tricky part. We got to jump across into this window in front of us. I found the easiest way to do that is to drop down to the little lower level here on the left. Go back as far as you can and then just sprint and jump towards the window and you'll land on the edge here. And you can drop inside of the tower settlement building. Now we're just going to follow this pathway all the way out into this courtyard. As soon as you go outside this door, you're going to have a giant scorpion that lands on top of you. So just be ready for that. I recommend running out, getting him to drop, and then running back into the room here. It makes it a little bit easier. But you can go ahead and take him out. Once you do, you'll be clear in this courtyard. And you can see the giant uh, statue uh, that's got uh, a cover over it. And right in front of that statue is going to be our next Skidoo tree fragment. To get to fragment number 13, we're also going to be starting from the Spiral Rise site of Grace. So you can make your way back over to this one. And once you get here, this time what we're going to do is turn behind us and go up the staircase that's here. We're going to follow this staircase up to the top until we see the open windows right here on your left. Then we're going to jump out on the roof and then take a right. Now, essentially, we're going to work our way across the rooftop. You're going to have three giant birds that are on this roof that you will need to take out. I've already defeated them, so it's a little easier to follow the route that we're taking. But once you take out the three birds that are on the roof here, just continue to work your way across. We're going to come over here and jump over to the other building. And once you're here, you'll have a couple more enemies right here in front of you. And then you can work your way up this staircase in front of us. We're going to go through this door and out the other and we're going to take a right to one more staircase now be really careful when you get to the top of this staircase directly in front of you is going to be a pretty big and strong enemy on the rooftops across but all we need to do is go into this room that's right here on our right and you guys will see the item on the altar here and that's going to be your next fragment Number 14 is going to be found on the far western side of the map, right next to the cleansing chamber anteroom. You can see that side of grace here on your map. You just work your way up the stairs. It's going to be in a pretty big room right there. You guys can see this is what it looks like. But right behind the site of grace is going to be another altar with an item on it. And, uh, and that item is going to be another skidoo tree fragment. Fragment number 15 is another one that's pretty easy to find. This one's going to be found over by the high road across site of grace. This is going to be another location where you have a cross next to the site of grace. And I've already picked this one up, so you're not going to see it on your screen, but you're also going to have two messages here on the wall if you want to grab these. But right here next to the cross and next to the site of grace is where you're going to be able to pick up your next skidoo free, uh, tree fragment. Number 16 and 17 are going to be found together at the Church of the Crusade that's just northwest of the High Road Cross side of Grace. You can see the church right here on your map. But once you make your way up there, you're going to see a statue in the very back of the church. Just make your way to that statue. And uh, this item right here is going to be your next two fragments. So you go ahead and pick that one up. And that will be numbers 16 and 17.
Number 18 can be a little bit tricky. This one's going to be at the front of the small camp that's just north of the high road cross. So you can see our exact location here on your map. The reason I say this is tricky is when you get over here, you'll see on your right as you make your way into the camp, you're going to notice that there is a statue next to the tent and an item on the wall in front of that statue. However, if you've been over here and that furnace guy that's right in front of us has been attacking you, You'll see here actually after we pick this up that he can destroy that statue and make it kind of hard to find. So if the statue isn't there, just look for an item on the wall on the right side of that pathway and you'll be able to get your next fragment. Number 19 is going to be found by some tents pretty much right in the middle of the map. You can see it's going to be east of the High Road Cross site of Grace just along this pathway. And in fact, there are a couple of tents here that you can see on your map. So you can just place a marker down right there by those tents. You will have several enemies that are in this area that you'll need to take out. But once you do you can make your way to the middle of the little camp, you'll see the statue right here. And right in front of that statue is going to be our next Skidoo tree fragment. Our next location is going to be found over by the Morth Ruins site of Grace. You can see the exact location for that here on your screen if you don't already have it. But this is going to be another one that has a cross. When you get over here, you can see right next to that side of Grace is a cross. And next to that cross is another item, which is our next fragment. Our 21st fragment is also going to be found by the Morth Ruins site of Grace. You can see that we've placed a marker just southeast of that site of Grace, right over here. And we're going to be looking for another enemy that's carrying a pot above his head. So from the side of Grace, we're just going to work our way around the side of the ruins if you want to stay to the right so you don't have to fight any enemies. Uh, but you can just go straight towards these giant trees. And against the mountainside here, you're going to come across the guy with the pot. You can see him right here in front of us. Just be careful. There is another pretty strong enemy that's over here that will come after you and start attacking you. But once you're able to take out the guy with the pot, you guys will see he's going to drop an item or a couple items. And one of those is going to be a Skidoo tree fragment. Fragment number 22 is going to be found at the Skidoo view cross a site of grace. Now, if you don't know how to get here, just northwest where you can see where we're standing on the map, where you're going to find the giant ghost flame dragon. The way to get up to that side of grace is going to be on the left side of the mountain. You're going to see a wind tunnel over here. Now you do have to unlock it. One easy way to do this is you can go into your inventory. Uh, and if you do have Margit shackle or if you have Moog shackle, you can use that while standing on the wind tunnel to break the rock and activate it. And once it's activated, you can then jump up using your steed. And then once you're up here, it's pretty straightforward. All you're going to do is follow the main path. You may have a couple enemies that try to come after you, but you don't actually need to fight them as you can just, again, ride past them on your horse. But essentially, you're just going to follow this path all the way up to the top of the cliffside in front of us. And there's going to be a site of grace up here, but there's also going to be another cross. And your uh, fragment is going to be found right next to that cross. So we'll make our way all the way up the hill here. You guys can see the side of grace right here to our left and on the right next to the cross will be your next skidoo tree fragment number 23 is going to be found pretty close to morth ruins you can see we're just northeast of the morth ruins site of grace and there's going to be a really small body of water right here on your map we just want to make our way to the northern side of that body of water this is what it's going to look like when you make your way over here and right in front of the little entrance to this cave it's going to be another statue. You can't miss it. And right here is where you'll be able to pick up your next fragment. Numbers 24 and 25 are going to be gained together through a boss fight at the Shadow Keep Main Gate site of Grace. So you can make your way over to the Shadow Keep Main Gate. And once you're here, you guys will see that once you take the lift up to the side of Grace, right here is going to be a door where you can enter to a boss fight. And all you need to do is win this boss fight, and it will give you your next two Skidoo Tree fragments. Fragment number 26 is going to be found right next to the storehouse fourth floor side of Grace. You guys can see that location here on your screen. But at this side of Grace, there's going to be another cross. So another one that's really easy to find. You can see right over here next to the cross will be a couple items on the ground. You want to pick up the one that's on the floor here and that will be your next Skidoo Tree fragment. To get to fragment number 27, we're going to be starting from the storehouse seventh floor site of Grace. And go ahead and fast travel over here. Once you're here, we're going to work our way into the main room here and then drop down to the lower level. So you can jump off the stairs and continue to go straight. Keep in mind, you will have enemies along the route here, so you may have to stop and take them out. But we've already done so for the video. 
but you're going to continue to work your way in this room. We want to get on that little bridge that's going across, but if it's not in that location for you, all you have to do is come over here and pull this lever and that's going to move that little bridge across so that you can come right back over here and actually make the jump onto it. So again, if it's not in this position, then just go over and pull that lever and it'll move over to this position. But once you're here, all you're going to do is climb up to the top and we're going to jump on this tail that's right here in front of us and climb all the way to the top of this beast. Go ahead and run to the top. You can sprint and jump off onto the balcony. And once you're in this room, we're going to go right through the door outside and take a right and work our way up the stairs. Now, again, there's going to be a couple enemies up here. Haven't already taken these guys out. We can defeat these two. And we get to the top of the stairs. We're going to take a left. And I believe there's a little bit of a difficult enemy that's guarding this door. So just be prepared. Uh, but when you take out that enemy, you can go through these doors right here in front of us. You'll see the statue as well as the item on the ground. You can go ahead and pick up that item and that'll be your next Skidoo Tree fragment. Number 28 is a little tricky to get to, but we're going to be starting from the church district entrance side of Grace that you can see over here on the northern side of the map. And I've placed a marker down right here to kind of show you the direction that we're going to go. But from this side of Grace, what we're going to do, and we're going to move pretty quickly here. We're not going to fight any enemies. We're going to jump down to the rooftop and we're going to come over here to the right side. And essentially, we're just going to try to work our way across the water. And when you get over here, you can climb right up on this little ledge and sprint and jump to get to the other side. We're then going to continue along this wall so that we don't drop down and have to fight these enemies that are spawning beside us. We'll climb to the top corner here. And once you're up here, we can jump to the ledge. And from the ledge, we can jump across to the roof. And then we're going to go all the way to the other side of the roof. You're going to have an enemy right here that you need to be very careful of. But we're going to go all the way down to the other side. So you can see the smaller roof here. And then we're going to be very cautious, but try to jump onto this ledge here. You can see he almost knocked me off. So it might be worth defeating him before attempting that jump. But then we're just going to work our way up onto this roof. And then again, you need to be careful here as we're going to drop inside on one of these little ledges. And then we're going to walk our way to the other side and jump over into this area. And then we can just drop down right here in this little open area below us. Let's go ahead and drop down here. And once you're here, what we're going to do is go straight through this door and we're going to follow this path. And eventually you're going to see a couple doors that'll lead to where our location is. There's one immediately on your right here. So you can see we just ran past it. And then there's a second door to get in that room on the other side, right over here. Either way you want to go and it doesn't matter. But once you're in here, you'll see the fragment right in the middle. This one is really, really tricky to get to. So I re really recommend taking your time for this, as you can see that I died. But what you want to do is sprint and jump onto the arm. And once you've done so, you can very, very slowly walk down until you see it pop up. And then you can pick up the fragment. But again, I, I warn you, be very careful because it's annoying to have to run that route over and over again. But this will be your next fragment. Number 29 is going to be found at the Shadow Keep back gate site of Grace. You can see that location here on your screen. But once you make your way over to the back gate, this is what... Uh, the room is going to look like right here in front of us. All you want to do is go into this little side room that's next to it, and you'll see the statue all the way in the back. And right in front of that statue is going to be another Skidoo tree fragment. So we can pick that one up for number 29. Numbers 30 through 34 are going to be found on the far northern side of the map at the Skidoo tree chalice. Now, if you don't know how to get here from the Shadow Keep back gate, when you go out that gate outside in this area right here, there's going to be a pretty massive boss fight. And it's the only thing in this entire area. In fact, there's no enemies even along the way to the chalice. There's just a boss out here. So when you make your way to the back gate, all you need to do is fight and beat the boss here. And then you'll be able to work your way up to this Kadoo tree chalice. And this is what it's going to look like once you make your way up here. And it'll be really easy to, uh, to spot your next five Kadoo tree fragments as all five of them are going to be on the ground right here in front of the chalice. So Go ahead and beat the boss, run up here and grab all five of these. And these again will be numbers 30 through 34. Number 35 is another really tricky one. To get to this one, we're going to start from the Recluses River upstream side of Grace. To get there, you come from the north up in this area and you just work your way down the waterway and you'll find this one on the side of the mountain. But this is where we're going to start because this next one is really tricky to get to. It's at the very bottom of this first waterfall that's beside us. Now to get there, the first thing we're gonna do is hop on our horse so we can save a little bit of time and we don't have to fight any enemies. We can just blow up by them, but we're just gonna follow this pathway along the side of the mountain here until we get to the dead end. 
and you'll notice the dead end it'll be pretty clear you don't really drop down too far here and you can see we're coming up on that now once you're at the dead end we're going to jump across to the other side and continue to move in the same direction and you guys can see uh, that little platform on the left that's essentially where we're trying to get to the only way to get there is to drop down to this next level that's beside us here and that will help us get to the other side. We're pretty much going in the shape of the letter U. So you can see we want to get right over there to those platforms where we can jump down. We're just going to work our way all the way around here. We'll go right back up this side of the hill. And then once you're over here, you can start to work your way down. So we'll go ahead and drop to this first level here. And we can drop right here. And just go all the way down until you see that waterfall. And you don't want to drop below that. You want to stay here and then follow the water uh, the stream that's leading to the waterfall and essentially what we're going to do is work our way back over to the first waterfall and to do that we're just going to follow the water all the way back so you're going to have several enemies along this route those giant flowers are hanging out in this area just be really cautious as, as you're uh riding by them as they will try to attack you but we're just going to go all the way to the back to the waterfall and you'll notice it pretty quickly when we get there there's going to be one single item at the very, very back. So not this one here, but as we go all the way back here, you'll see it right here in front, right in the middle. You can go ahead and jump off and pick that up. And that will be fragment number 35. Our next two fragments are gonna be found together. And to get there, we're gonna start from the Recluses River downstream side of Grace. This is pretty easy to get to if you have this one. From the upstream, all you're gonna do is follow the mountainside all the way down instead of turning around and going to where we got our last fragment. You're just gonna to continue to follow the mountain down and you will find this side of Grace. But once you get down here, we're going to go ahead and hop on our steed and just work our way down the mountain. You'll see right next to the side of Grace uh, are going to be a lot of platforms that you can use to get all the way to the bottom. And once you make it to the bottom, essentially what we're going to be looking for are two hippos. So when you defeat one of the hippos, it's going to drop you one Skidoochery fragment. And when you defeat the second hippo, it'll drop you another one. And they're really close to each other, so it's really easy to find them. We'll go ahead and drop all the way down here to the bottom. And once you're on the ground, we're going to go east and just work your way over the land here. And you're going to end up finding another pond area. And this is where you're going to encounter your first hippo. So you can see it right here in front of us. All you need to do is defeat that big thing. It's pretty easy, especially if you've already fought the hippo boss guy. Uh, this one is significantly easier. But when you defeat him, if you go around the back side right over here, you can see in front of us is going to be a second one. So all you need to do is defeat both of these guys and you will get your next two Skidoo Tree Fragments. Fragment number 38 is going to be found down on the southern side of the map by the Cerulean Coast Cross Site of Grace. You can see it right here. Make it there is pretty simple just from the Cerulean Coast. You just head south and you'll find it over here. But this one is fortunately very easy to get as it's just another fragment that's next to a cross. So right here next to the side of Grace, you'll be able to pick up your next fragment. For number 39, we're going to be on the southwestern side of the map, and this one's really easy to get lost. You can see my marker right here on the map, this green marker. You want to place that down in that area southeast of the Gravesite Plains. We're actually going to be starting from the southwest, so you can take the Cerulean Coast side of Grace and just work your way right over here where I'm standing. It's super simple to get to this little pathway. But yeah, you just follow this path right there to where you can see my arrow on the map. And once you're here, you're going to be in between these two giant structures, and you're just going to follow the path up the hill in between those structures. So getting here is the easy part, but this is where it gets a little bit tricky and you can get lost pretty quickly in here. We're just going to follow this path straight through. And what we're going to do is kind of take a left and continue to go straight, and then we'll drop down. So you'll see it here as we go around this corner. We're going to take a left, go past this waterfall, and then we're pretty much just going to go straight here. And as you go straight, you're going to end up finding a spot where you can kind of drop down right here. And then in this little secret area is a small cave. And you can go inside this cave. And you'll see in the very back is going to be an item. Just be careful. There are enemies over here. But this item right here in this cave is going to be your next Skidoo Tree Fragment. Number 40 is going to be on the far southern side of the map by the Fissure Cross Site of Grace. Now, for some reason, you haven't already been down to this location. All you do is work your way down from the coast to the very southern point of the map. And right here, you can see there's this giant mountain with a hole in the middle. You're just going to climb your way down that mountain. And then from there, it's pretty much a straight shot just to the east. So it's not too difficult to get down here. But once you make it to the fissure uh, cross site of Grace, you'll see again, we're going to have a cross as well as an item right next to it. And that'll be where you can find your next fragment. 
For number 41, we're going to start at Charo's Hidden Grave, Site of Grace. And this one is extremely annoying to find. So I'm going to give you guys a quick rundown of how to get here on the map. It's directly above the Cerulean Coast. So essentially what you want to do is start from the Pillar Path Waypoint, which most of you should have. And from here, you're just going to follow this little pathway where our cursor goes south until you get to the dead end. And right at that dead end, there's going to be an entrance to a cave. And that'll lead you to the Dragon's Pit, Site of Grace. Now, once you've made it there, all you're going to do is work your way east. It's not hard at all once you're down there. And you're going to end up at Dragon's Pit Terminus, Site of Grace. So you can grab that one, continue to work your way east until you get to this little pond area, and then just go straight south, and you'll find the Grand Altar, Site of Grace. From here, it's pretty easy. You're just going to follow the pathway up the hill, and you will be able to find Charo's Hidden Grave, Site of Grace. So again, there's several YouTube videos on how to get here because this one is really, really tricky. But from this side of grace, you're going to go through the archway to where the death right bird is located. Be really, really careful. I was kind of careless while recording this, so I almost died a couple times. Um, but when you get out here, essentially what you want to do is go left. There's going to be a bridge right here, and you'll see it in a second. I go to turn. It's right here in front of us, and it's going to lead to essentially another mountain. So just again, be very, very careful. Hop on your steed and book it. But you can see this little uh, natural bridge leading across to the other mountain. We're just going to follow that all the way up. And essentially for this one, we're looking for another hippo. So to get this fragment, you're going to defeat another hippo. When you get to the top, there'll be a small pond up here. And there's the hippo right here in front of us. So we'll go ahead and defeat him. Is he really a hippo or is he a rhino? I'm not really sure, to be honest with you. But once you take him out, you'll get a skidoo tree fragment. For number 42, we're going to be on the far southeastern side of the map by the foot of the Jagged Peak uh, site of Grace. And to get there, you just follow this pathway to it. Once you get there, this little open area where you can see right here, there's going to be two dragons fighting each other. And we want to work our way up the mountain right where my arrow is standing. So you can see these are the two dragons that are going to be attacking each other. And right over here is going to be a pathway that leads right up to one of those little wind tunnels. We're going to work our way up the hill and ride up the first wind tunnel here. And then in front of you, you will notice that there is a second one. So we're going to continue to work our way up the side of the mountain. And then once we've gone up twice, what we're going to do is follow the path all the way up to where the boulders start rolling down the hill. So you can see the small pathway that we can follow here. And as we continue to go up, you'll see the opening directly in front of us. Now, if you haven't been up here yet, you're going to have two giant boulders that drop off right in front of us and roll down the mountain that you have to avoid. It's really easy to avoid them. You just run off to the side. But once both of them fall, you just want to run all the way to the top of the hill right here. And you're going to see an item directly below where those boulders drop off at. And that item is going to be our next Skidoo Tree Fragment. So you can go ahead and pick that up for number 42. Fragment number 43 is going to be found at the Temple Town Ruins. This is the location here if you didn't already have this unlocked. Uh, and if you don't know how to get to this, what you need to do is just make your way to the Ancient Ruins space side of Grace. And then you just follow this path all the way down the hill and it'll lead you to the Temple Town Ruins. We're going to start from the front of the ruins where you can pick up the map. So you can see the map right here. Uh, and all you, want, all you want to do is follow the main path and go into the Temple Town Ruins. And we're going to go straight until we run into this giant wall. And then we're going to take a left and go under this archway that you see over here. And that building in front of us, essentially, we want to get inside of that building. And to do so, we're going to go through the archway and go all the way around the back side of the building. There's going to be a really small hole that you can crawl in to get inside of the structure. So if we go around the back here, you can see one of these is going to be busted open. We can actually walk right through this to get inside. And we need to get up to the second floor as there's a corpse hanging off the side there that has an item on it. And that's going to be the fragment that we need. But to get to it, what you want to do is go all the way up to the top and you want to go to the back corner. And there's actually going to be a spot where you can drop down and land on the second floor right here. You can drop down and go through the door and right here on the edge, you will find the item. And that's going to be your next Skidoo Tree Fragment. For fragment number 44, we're going to start from the Viaduct Minor Tower uh, side of Grace. You can see right here on your map. And what we want to do is work our way to this little body of water right here where you can see my marker. Now, there's a couple different ways to get here. I believe you can get there from this side of Grace as well. But this one is more common, so we'll show you what to do from here. So what you want to do is come over here to the left side. And essentially what we're going to do is drop down. And you are going to take fall damage because it is a little bit high off the ground. But you want to be really careful about where you're jumping. 
Uh, what you want to do is look for the rock that's a little bit higher up. You can see it right here below us, and there's going to be a tree here as well. And we could just jump down onto this section, and if you double jump with the steed, you'll just take a little bit of fall damage, and you'll be able to land it. But once you're here, we're just going to drop down one more time on the left. This one is not nearly as high, so you won't take any damage. But once you're here, you're just going to come around the corner here and work your way down to the body of water. where you are going to find another hippo, and all you need to do is defeat this hippo. And once you do, you'll see that he is going to give you another Skidoo Tree Fragment. So this will be how you get number 44. For number 45, we're going to start southwest of the tower site of Grace, where we just were for our last one. To get here, we're just going to follow this path right to where you can see my arrow. It's right at the entrance to the ruins, so it's super easy to get down here. But from the entrance of the ruins that were right where that marker was, we're going to go inside, and it's a little tricky. This is a little bit of a maze. But we're going to go all the way to the back and we're going to take a right. And you're going to see there are two giant doors. We're going to open those doors and go through them. And once you go through them, we're going to continue to follow the path and we're going to take a left. And there's going to be a bunch of giant scorpions down here that you need to be careful of. You can just make your way around them without having to stop and fight. But as you go all the way around to the back, you're going to see another flight of stairs that you can go down. And we're just going to continue to work our way straight to the back of the room where there's going to be another set of doors. You can go to the side here if you want to try to avoid fighting anything. But when you get to the back, you'll see the double doors right here. And for some reason, it won't let me ride the steed through it. So you got to hop off. But once you make it through these double doors, you're just going to continue to follow the path. We're going to take a right. And then you're going to go straight all the way to the back where you're going to find a wind tunnel or whatever these things are called. We're going to drop down. And as soon as you drop down, you want to turn around. And you're going to see a really long hallway that we can ride all the way to the back to another wind tunnel. So just go straight until you find the next one. And that one's going to take you back up to the second level. We'll go all the way back here. Go ahead and jump up this. And as soon as you get to the top directly in front of you, you're going to see a guy holding a pot above his head. You want to take him out quickly before he disappears. And he is going to drop our next fragment. So you can go ahead and pick that one up. Number 45. Number 46 is fortunately one that's really easy to get, and that's just going to be found at the Rao Ancient Ruins East Site of Grace. You can see here really close to where we just got our last one. And at this Site of Grace, there's going to be another cross, and the item on the ground that's right next to that cross will be your 46th Skidoo Tree Fragment. Number 47 is another one that's pretty easy to get to, and we're going to start from the Rao Ancient Ruins west side of Grace that you can see right here on your map. So make your way to this one. Once you're here, all we're going to do is hop on our steed and go through the double archways in front of us, which is going to lead to a staircase. You do want to be careful as you are going to be getting attacked from the top of the stairs here. So just work your way up the stairs. We're going to take a right, the only direction you can go. And all we're going to do is go to the very back of this room. There's a little altar thing directly in front of us back there that's going to have an item on it. And you'll see as we run past all these enemies, you can just pick up this item right here for your 47th Skidoo Tree Fragment. Numbers 48 and 49 are going to be found together at the Church Ruins Site of Grace on the eastern side of the map. You just work your way through the Abyssal Woods to get to this abandoned church. But once you're back here and you grab this Site of Grace, all you need to do is go inside the church and there's going to be an item at the very back, and this is going to be two Skidoo Tree Fragments. So again, you can pick these up for 48 and 49. Fragment number 50 is going to be found in the Abyssal Woods, and we're going to be starting from the Abyssal Woods side of Grace right here in the middle. Uh, this is a little challenging area because you can't ride your steed, and there are some enemies that you have to parry to be able to actually defeat. So if you are struggling in here, there are several guides on YouTube on how to take out the enemies in the Abyssal Woods. But once you're at that site of grace, all you need to do is continue to follow the path north. And you can see it's a pretty open area. But as you progress north and get back in between these two mountains here, you're just going to hang a left and work your way around the back side. So you can just follow where we're going to run here. Again, there will be a bunch of rats that are back here that you need to be careful of. But as you hang a left and work your way to this little dead end back here, you're going to see this tree with an item directly in front of it. And that item on this tree is going to be at your 50th and final Skidoo Tree Fragment. But this is where to find all 50 Skidoo Tree Fragments here in the Elden Ring DLC. Hopefully this video helps some of you guys out. I appreciate you watching and we'll see you in the next one.